Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to import reference images in Blender. It's very very easy. So let's go. First of all we need to switch to the orthographic view and select front and drag and drop our images. So I'll drop my front image here and go to my right view and drop side image and it's actually done but we need to fix it I want my image to be exactly in the center so for that we can click Alt G select the image and click Alt G and the other way is to select the image go here and hover over the location values and backspace yeah by the way let me switch on this shortcut viewer so you can see what i'm doing so next next we want to unify the size of our images and want always to model in the um, world scale size so when we render our model the light will interact with the model in a proper way not like with a very very little thing or very huge thing and we want our renders and lighting to be looking good so for that shift a mesh cube front view G Z and somewhere here Alt Z G, G oops what I'm doing so select the image G Z Put it here. Oh gosh, I'm in the rendered view. So yeah, again, switch to the solid view and S. Oops. Yeah, something like that. Go to the right view and do the same thing with the other image. G Z. S a little bit more all right that's looking fine for me and now go back to perspective view and it's looking good our car is looking good we can start modeling but before that we need to uh, move our references a little bit back so G and in the Y axis this one I will move in the X axis yeah the next thing I don't want my image to be accidentally selected because it's a references so for that I will go to the filter and filter and click on this arrow and now we have our arrows here and if we check these two we can never select them accidentally again and that's super super handy of course we need to also rename our images so this will be our front ref just to have everything clean and organized and this will be our site ref select them both m and references all right now we have them both in the references collection and if i check this again the other thing what we can do is if i select the image 
to the front view again. And for example, for my eyes, this image is too bright. Let me hide the cube. And I want to make it looking a bit, a little bit better for my eyes. So select the reference image, go to the object data properties and click on this opacity and bring it a little bit down, right? And now our image is looking better for me. Yeah, right view, the same we can do with this one, opacity. And cool, cool. The other thing we can do is, let's say I don't want to see my image in the perspective view. So if I uncheck this, I'm not going to see this image in the perspective view anymore. But if I go to the orthographic right view, it's always there. And I can start modeling, right? So GZ like that, tap, GG, G, yeah, so it's as simple as I don't know as what, but Blender references in Blender, importing them, it's very, very simple, right? Uh, yeah, and I'm having already my super cool, super cool car, yay! Alright, that's enough, not taking your time anymore guys, if you like this video, you know what to do, you can hit like, if you want you can even subscribe, and see you in the next video, yeah.